I don't even know if this should even be a thing. But it's going to be a thing today. Because it just is. My name is Catherine, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am completely obsessed with uh, maximalist design. And that's what this channel is going to be all about. I'm kind of over the whole everything has to be nude and, well, blonde in your home. And uh, we're going to talk about making things maximalist in your home. Bringing luxury items into your home versus just carrying them in your hand. How about you uh, hang them on your walls? Put them on your furniture. How about you just get good quality furniture? We could always do that too, ladies and gents. So today we're going to be talking about maximalism and why I like it so much. So if you like this channel and you like maximalist design and you're ready to go back into the world of color for 2022, go ahead and click subscribe and like this video. And um, I'm not editing this video, by the way. It's going up just the way it is. I fell in love with maximalist design probably when I was a kid. All of, I have an aunt and she, to me, has one of the most beautiful maximalist homes I've ever seen. She has artwork everywhere. She has beautiful furniture and she mixes patterns and colors and all of these different things in her home. And every time I used to go to her home, I used to be so obsessed with just going and looking at all the different things that she had done in her home. And so when we purchased our first home last year, I decided, well, at first, you know what? Let me tell the truth. At first I was on kind of the Instagram bandwagon of everything had to be tan and everything had to just be neutral and I did like the minimalistic lifestyle which in certain degrees in my home I still do um, especially in my kitchen I do not like a lot of clutter in my kitchen so that space is a minimalistic space but in other spaces I adore artwork I'm a creative personality I love artwork I don't know how to make artwork I have a daughter who does that not me um, so you're never gonna see me really DIY anything other than putting some furniture together but I love the maximalist life um, and the way that it functions within the way that I entertain. I love to entertain and have friends over um, and I like to be able to have conversation pieces in my home. I feel like even though I took um, a step with making more minimalistic uh, decisions when I first moved into our home, I've made those conversation pieces so that when people come in, they still want to have a conversation of where did you get this particular chair at, right? So that's kind of where I just started slowly over the last year to evolve into understanding that I wanted more for my home. Um, I wanted more luxury items to be in my home and I wanted to start creating some type of a generational understanding that there's things that used to be passed down that our grandparents would pass us down that I wanna do the same for my kids. So those are some of the things that I'll be discussing while on this channel and hopefully those things would be beneficial to you as you are creating your own spaces. Things that you're bringing into your home that will last the test of time generation after generation not just for the moment. I don't believe in too much moment furniture. I believe in if you're really going to build a home, build something that's going to last you to where you're not always following the trends. You can pick up things that are trendy but making sure that the home really feels like your own. And that's what my space is gonna be for me. Making sure that this home really feels like it's a comfortable space for our friends to be in, my family to be in, my kids to feel like they can take pride in what they see every single day. And that's what this channel is gonna be about. So um, yeah, as I start on this new journey, cheers to that. I'll also be going to school. So I'm going to be going to school to get my certification in interior design. Right now I work a 9 to 5, as they would say, even though my hours are more like 6 to 5 or 6 to whenever or 7 to whenever or 2 to 11. Who knows on any independent day and I don't know what my schedule looks like from week to week. So it's kind of grueling for me and I'm ready for a change in my life. I will be the big... 40 next year and I'm actually super excited about turning 40 so I'm ready to make and turn into a new chapter in my life and create something that's great 
um, and more complementary to what my family goals are. And I believe that chasing my dreams finally is something that will help build my family goal. So we're here for maximalistic maximalism design. Like I said, I'm not editing this because you're gonna get the raw version of me for a minute until you can see who I am as a person. Um, so I'm ready to explore those things and I'm ready to explore those things with, with you guys, with my audience and whatever that audience looks like, whether it be one person or two people or if I reach, you know, 10 people, I don't care. I'm not looking at numbers. I'm looking at how is it that I can help someone reach their goals and what they're looking for when it comes to the interiors of their home, especially when they feel like everything in the environment is so saturated with paleness. Um, so for people who are looking for things that are more colorful and exciting and bringing life back into the home and into their spaces, and there's nothing wrong with minimalistic design or warm minimalism. It's just there's a nice little niche of us who appreciate color and I just happen to be a colorful person, a colorful personality, and I like to have color in my home. So the very first thing I am getting into, and I will insert a picture, so I guess this kind of will be edited a little bit, but I will be buying this particular chair. So this chair is a space that is going to go into this black room that you see right here behind me. This room is kind of an all-encompassed room. So it's a room that is my office um, because I do have to work from home sometimes, um, even though I do go into the office. It is also a dining room. Um, what I'm actually working and sitting on right now is my actual dining room table that six six people as well as um, a desk for me. So I use it as a multifunctional space. There is a sofa in this space. So also um, Mary's as a living room so people can come in here and sit down and enjoy drinks and things like that. Um, so this area technically goes over a lot of different things. Um, but I'm ready to expand this into something even more. Um, I'm ready to hang the rest of the artwork on the walls. I'm taking this thing down. It was only temporary and it definitely is not who I am as a person. So this will be leaving and there will be different artwork that is going to be put up here. Actually, what's in here is going behind me. So <clears throat> just exploring different things and what that really looks like. For me, in this particular room, this will be the start. All of my children's rooms upstairs have already started. They didn't know that that's what I was doing, but I was um, into the maximalist um, way of thinking inside of their rooms too. So my daughter, who is very artistic, she just painted her room black on one of her walls. So one of her walls is black, one is pink, and the other one is white. And I plan to incorporate a lot more furniture items into her space so that she is able to see how the maximalism works in that particular space unbeknownst to what she's doing. But it's going to be absolutely gorgeous when it's finished. I have a 10 year old son and his space has been painted a beacon blue. So go look up beacon blue. It almost looks like painter's tape is the color. Um, it's that really, really pretty vibrant blue. Um, color and I will be adding more artwork and things into his room to make that feel like more of a maximalist space also but a little bit more toned down in the genre of still making it a kid's room. Then I have another daughter upstairs and her room actually was painted black prior to my oldest son leaving for college and her room is going to just be a black and white monochromatic um, basically maximalist room um, but it's still going to be very toned down my husband has an area upstairs which is his loft that um he's insistent that i don't touch but he doesn't know that it's mine i'm here and thinking to himself oh but it's not but it is so we'll see what we are able to do together and maybe just maybe we'll do that space together so that he feels more comfortable with whatever it is that I do. I don't care what he thinks. Anyways, so that is what this channel will be mainly about. I cannot wait for you guys to follow along and see what we do and all the different changes that we make in our home. I'm giving us a time span of two years to get 
all of the rooms done. And the reason I'm doing that is because, um, yeah, I'm not going to be house poor trying to do any of these things. I want to be realistic with my expectations. We want to do things to our kitchen. We want to do things to, well, we want to do things to our kitchen. I want to do things to our bathroom. So those are projects that, of course, are going to take money and definitely time in order to make sure that we find the right contractors to help us do those particular projects so i can't wait to, to show everybody what we're going to do and how we're going to turn our boring builder basic house um, into a beautiful masterpiece of just a wonderful maximalist beautiful well very well well put together home so Stay tuned for what I have, and I will see you guys next time. Hi, my name is Catherine, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh my God. Babe. Uh, like, where's the best place to look in the camera? Uh, where's the best place to look if I'm looking at this camera? Help. Hey, this is Catherine and welcome to my YouTube channel where we will be talking about all things maximalist for your home. Uh, don't like that either. Nope, I don't like it.